A distraught dad intentionally drives off sunset cliffs with his two young daughters sitting on his lap. Tonight, a San Diego police officer is being called a hero for saving their lives. Fox 5 Jeff McAdams spoke with him and he joins us live from the accident site. Jeff. If that's right, yeah, well, we got our hands on this footage, the footage of the dad driving off the cliff. We got our hands on it about an hour ago. We got to warn you, it's a little bit tough to watch. Before we get to that, we'll set the stage. It looks like in this video that the dad was in his truck coming straight down Hill Street, and then he went just right over the side of the cliff through these wooden stanchions and about 50 feet down below. This happened early Saturday morning. Here's the video. The car looks to hit the curb and then go airborne splashing down about 50 feet down below. We spoke to the officer who responded, saved all three of them, dad and the two twin toddlers. The officer says he got a call that the dad might be suicidal and that he was driving with his two kids, maybe had a gun and might try to drive off the Coronado Bridge. But the suspect's phone pinged here at Sunset Cliffs instead. So he changed paths and drove this way. The suspect, 47-year-old Robert Bryan, saw police and before they even activated their lights, sped up and drove off the cliff. This officer who pulled up as a canine handler, one of only five officers in the department who have a 100-foot dog leash in his car, he says he knew it would support his 95-pound dog, didn't know if it would support his weight, decided to try it anyway, rappelling down, saving all three of them, including the dad. Trying to figure out what happened. I mean, you know, his first statement was, you know, I couldn't believe we didn't die because um, he was trying to commit suicide. Um, and then he told me, you know, that the girls were actually sitting in his lap when he drove over the cliff and no one had the seatbelts on. And it, I just couldn't fathom how they survived. But then you look at the truck and the way it landed, the entire uh, passenger compartment were, were crushed except for the driver's area. So had they been our seats in the back or, or anywhere else, you know, they probably wouldn't have survived the impact or had they been strapped in, they, you know, they might've drowned. All right, we're told that both these girls are gonna be able to recover from their injuries. Uh, the dad, he's facing multiple charges, including attempted murder. Uh, incredible, just what this officer was able to do. Look, the word hero gets thrown around quite a bit. This one, I think, safe to say this officer pretty well is a hero. Not only that, he's in the right place at the right time all the time, it seems like, about a year ago. Remember the Poway shooting at the synagogue? Uh, John Ernest, the shooter, uh, this officer, this same officer, he was on his lunch break when he heard the radio calls that were going out and intercepted John Ernest's car, made the arrest on the Poway shooter all by himself on his lunch break just happens to be at the right place at the right time and listens to scanners very well. 